TIFU by poking around on my dead father's PC. In response to my comment in you, Big Bird 428's post, I am contributing my own fuck up story. This happened almost two weeks ago and was the day after my grandmother's funeral. I'm going to give some background because it relates to the fuck up. If you are too impatient and don't care about the details, then skip down to the PC or to TLDR at the bottom. My father passed away five years ago. He was charismatic and charming and everyone liked him. Unfortunately, he also had a dark side. A while ago my father was arrested for financial fraud. During one of the initial hearings we found out that the FBI discovered that he was married to another woman. I'll refer to her as Jay. He went to Club Fed for a couple of years and my mother stayed with him, swearing that he changed. The second marriage was not legal and my father claimed that he broke things off with Jay. After getting out of prison he got a job in a small company that was owned by a woman that he had known for several years. I'll refer to her as M. Fast forward to five years ago. My father was diagnosed with leukemia. He was hospitalized and started to waste away. My mother spent a lot of time with him. My wife and I visited frequently. And so did M. I remember a couple of times when we showed up and only M was there. He went into hospice where he died less than two weeks after arriving there which was a month or so. After the diagnosis. After the funeral I told my mother to not give his work laptop or cell phone to anyone before I could check them out. Of course. M asked for them saying that they were company property and my mother handed them over. The PC a month or so ago my mother asked me to get rid of my dad's old personal computer. Of course being curious I decided to go exploring. After resetting his account password I was good to go. G On it I found some cached emails. One was for multiple Cialis prescriptions. Another offered condolences to uncle. My dad. For the death of his dear wife Jay who passed away a few years after my father convinced my mother that things were over between them. I also found emails between him and M where they said that they loved each other, etc. I also found pictures that were taken during some of their business trips, where they most definitely were not just professional colleagues. Nothing graphic but definitely suggestive. Turns out that he was having an affair with J and M at the same time and the two women knew each other. Basically my dad was cheating on my mother with J and M. Cheating. If you call it that. On J with M and M knew about both my mother and J. He continued his affair with M after J died and until he died. Digging deeper I found a couple of pictures of him skydiving. To my surprise. Some pictures of firearms. That look like he found online. And links to articles about the US military's involvement in Afghanistan. I then found a couple of files that looked like letters to people that were signed with his name. Followed by his US Army rank. He had never. Ever been in the military. Basically he convinced his other family. That he was a very high ranking officer who had been wounded multiple times. During his trial there was a mention about him bullshitting about his supposed rank but to be honest it got lost in the whole shit storm. Then there was a file of particular interest called accounts.doc. It had the names of several offshore banks with what I guess are account numbers but no additional information. A few years before he died he said to me that he had some money offshore. To be honest I thought that he was lying. Yet again. And laughed it off. Who knows if they were even open or if they had anything in them or if M had access to them. All of this really hit me hard and I had enough for the day. I shut down the PC and decided that I would copy all of the files to a thumb drive in the morning. And see what I could do to track down those accounts. 
The next morning I fired up the PC only to be greeted with a clicking sound and a disk not found. Error. It was like someone gave me enough info to confirm that my father did not change. Was a total asshole and then closed the door on my face. I have not said a thing about this to my mother. It would kill her. During a recent conversation with her she said that grandma, who recently passed, is up in heaven with your father. I did not say a word because I was too busy thinking that the only way that grandma is with dad is if she was doing charity work with the damned. TLDR. Poked around my dead father's PC. Found out that he was having a couple of affairs. Faked military service. Had a file called, accounts.doc. That may or may not have money and now the PC won't boot. It opened old wounds and I can't tell my mother about it. If the HDD is dead or dying. I'd strongly recommend not powering on the PC again. But instead taking the HDD to a specialist, professional data recovery company. They can almost certainly recover the data. But the more you try and use it, the more damage you could do to the data. Get a professional to recover the disk and then get the accounts info off it and follow them up. With a lawyer if necessary. At the least. Your mother is entitled to any money left in his offshore accounts. Edit for typo. Your father seems to have had an interesting life. Yeah people are messy. It's the main constant I've learned being an anthropologist it's also why we never rely on what people say and instead embed and learn by watching and then matching that against what they've said. I'm sorry that your digging turned up more hurt about your father but maybe you can find some comfort in the idea that he was only human and his behavior is way more common than we like to believe. Also, you seem like a good person so you can also find comfort in the idea that even with all his BS he was also able to be a part of creating a good person in the world. There still is the possibility some files are recoverable from the PC. If you still have it that is and if you even want to know. A drive dying like that is curious to say the least. Anyone else think this is the digital equivalent of finding a safe in the wall while renovating? Really thought it was going to be porn but here we are. Grandma doing charity work for the damned, damn did that make me chuckle. Are you a bluth? I just read my some of my dad's journal entries last night. He told me he's got terminal cancer last week. Told me where I could find his journals. Then left town for a week. I couldn't resist I really wish I had. Holy shit dude. Get the drive to drive savers or a trustworthy company who retrieves data from dead disks. Do it. I'm sorry dude but I don't like your dad. I can understand why it would hit you hard. Give yourself a bit of time to think about things. Don. T. Rush. Is your dad my mom's brother because holy cow this sounds exactly like something he would do. Hey buddy. Sorry this is happening to you. My dad's a womanizer and has hard time being in relationships. He's a great person. I love him. But I know that like your dad he's got a past I probably don't want to find out about. So this probably sucks to process. But I hope you find some peace. Take it easy. How did you reset the password? I've always been curious if people die and you don't know the password to their Windows or Mac. Laptop how can you reset it? Just let old dogs lie my friend. Your mom is happy with the memories they shared together. It sounds like your dad was an interesting character even though he had his vices. I hope he treated you well. 
judging by how sophisticated your pops seem to be. I'd be shocked if there was money in the offshore accounts. He wouldn't just leave them there. The man had three families and could somehow keep up appearances. Dude doesn't seem like the type to forget there's a million stashed overseas. The PC not booting is almost certainly coincidence. Ghosts aren't real and can't ruin computers. The data is almost certainly recoverable. I'd need more information to help you know exactly how to do it but a simple way would be to put it into a machine with a different primary boot drive and see if a data recovery tool like Rekuva can find anything. If he actually has money in offshore accounts a couple hundred dollars to get a local shop to pull what they can might be a drop in a bucket for a decent payoff. At OP I am a professional in this area. There is a good chance that the drive is alright and it's just a power issue due to oxidation, carbon. On the contacts. Try replugging or replacing the power cord to the drive. Even if the drive stops clicking without bolt success. You can still try to boot from a thumb drive and access that drive. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.